Hello, I'm David Guthrie, a preacher with His Word Lives Ministry, and I want to welcome you once again to this Christian ministry, and we want to give you an opportunity to pray along with us in our prayer meeting today. I want to pray for Bethany Walls, for her family and friends as her mom has passed away. We had a couple others. I'd like to pray for Cindy Hightower's family and friends as Cindy passed away. And I want to pray for Tony Mullinax as his mom passed away. For all of these family and friends of these loved ones that have passed away. If you've lost someone recently, pray along with us. Pray for compassion. Pray for a touch from God for people during this time. I'd like to pray for uh, my Aunt Linda Guthrie's uh, health as she tried to have a certain kind of surgery that would enable her to do something and it didn't take and her body rejected it or, or the uh, sum of that. But uh, we want to pray for Linda Guthrie and for her rehabilitation and recovery in the hospital. And we also want to pray for Gypsy, a, a friend of one of our church members, and, and for her health. She's got some serious things going on. And we want to pray for Gypsy. And we also want to pray for our church, uh, Rydell Baptist Church. This is a church plan in Rydell, Georgia. And I appreciate any support you could send send our way for this. And uh, we certainly appreciate your prayers as we're getting ready to start doing the foundation and the rough end plumbing that goes into the ground. And we're excited about this groundbreaking. We've done a lot of the preliminary work as far as clearing and, and a lot of work had to be done there and grading and different things that the county requires for building and, and plans and approvals with the county. We've done it uh, pretty good, I believe. Uh, we want to pray for our church, uh, uh, the, the people in our church. We've got a new church. We meet at a community center right now, and our attendance is running right about 20. We're uh, 18, 19, 20. So, we want to pray that more people would come along the way and be a part of Rydell Baptist Church. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, we come to you in prayer with thankfulness in our hearts this morning for another day of life. God, we thank you for your love and that we can have Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. And we thank you, God, Jesus, for what you did on the cross and making it possible for our sins to be forgiven and for us to know the gift of eternal life. If there's one that don't know you listening on this video, I pray that they would come to you, Jesus. God, I pray that they would come to the, your uh, uh, way that you made possible for us to be saved in your gift of salvation. We pray for all of these that we've made mention of. We Pray for the viewers' prayers and lift them up to you. All of these things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What a, what a good way to start off uh, a message today. We want to read uh, <clears throat> the second epistle of John. And we want to talk... Uh, uh, or preach a little bit out of the second epistle of John and, and we're going to read the whole thing it's only 13 verses but we want to uh, look at what God's word says <clears throat> we want to look at what God's word says about the truth well we as Christians know that we're to love other people but it's not just all about love it's about the truth, the truth of God's Holy Scriptures, the truth of what God the Holy Spirit tells us in our hearts and our minds and soul. We need to seek out the truth and abide in the truths, the commandments, in the way that God would have us to live our lives and to seek out Jesus. 
Seek out God the Holy Spirit and seek out the Father and ask Him for the many blessings that He's looking to bestow upon us. And seek out how we handle other people and seek out how we handle wicked people and how we handle situations. We need to look for the truth and <clears throat> what God says we ought to do in different situations in our lives. Let's read this scripture. This is about the Apostle John, and he's writing this to a Christian uh, elder, I believe, and he's also writing it for her children, her Christian children, and for all the Christians of the world. The elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. For the truth's sake, which dwelleth in us, and shall be with us forever. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Son of the Father in truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves, that we lose not those things which we have brought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that bideth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Having many things to write unto you, I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you and speak face to face, that our joy may be full. The children of thy elect sister greet thee. Amen. Praise God. I want to invite you right now to come to our church one day. I want you to look upon your lives and make it a mark. <clears throat> make it a priority. To do the truth and stay in the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And live your life and receive the fullness of the reward that God wants to bestow upon you. Thank you for being with us here today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.